This is Scott from KIG. It's November 20th, 2013. This is again our Advantage 15 ton air cooled chiller, but what we've done is we've uh, filled it with glycol, a glycol solution, and we've converted the controller to the low temperature setting as well as the uh, pressure switch. Um, in that, you can actually go down to 20 degrees Fahrenheit uh, if you want. We're going we're gonna to do a test now, and we're running, uh, we have the glycol up to 50 degrees Fahrenheit in the uh, tank. Uh, we're going to show it chilling down to uh, 29, uh, 29F set point. It'll actually go down to 25F before it shuts off. It goes 4 degrees below the, uh, below the set point. So, you can actually bring it down to 20. The only reason we don't want to chill it down to 20 Actually, you can bring it down to 10. We don't want to go much below 29 right now as the set point. Uh, only because we haven't done an extensive test on how uh, the actual uh, how the, the glycol solution how how low it can actually go. So that's the only reason we're not going to chill it much less. Uh, but again, it's going to go down to about 25 f before it shuts off. And as you can imagine, on the outlet of the uh, evaporator, um, it's several degrees lower than that also. So it started out at 51. Uh, we're chilling right now. This is the same serial number as we did a test with uh, regular water. Uh, serial number 99. Sorry about that. It's not the same. Serial number 99750. I'll come back with video number two in a second here for this low temperature test.